Good day, grade 7. I am your teacher, Marie. Good day, grade 7. Now we're going to discuss a new topic. Let us enjoy watching while learning. Let us recall the operation on real numbers. How do we explain the process of subtractions? If I tell you that I have 4 apples and I subtracted 3 apples, this just means that I took away or removed 3 apples from my current 4 apples. Then, the answer which is called the difference. It means the left with me is 1 apple, right? Do you know that we also apply this process for the subtraction of sets? Let us find out how. Let us recall our sets in activity 2 on the previous lesson. Our universal set, which is the set of all the mathematicians. We have on the list, Galileo Galilei, De Sargus, Euclid, Leonardo da Vinci, Blaise Pascal, Isaac Newton, Agustin Louis Couch. We define the set A as the set of mathematician with Bayard, while the set B containing the mathematician with a hair length below the ears. From set A, remove the people with hair length below the ears and same the new set as set C. We have the element C is an element of Galileo Galilei. From set B, remove all mathematician with Baird and name the new set as set D. The set D is an element of Pascal and Newton. As we have mentioned before, when we take away something from given value, we get the difference. In here, since we are dealing with sets, we get the difference between sets. Like the basic difference, we say 9 minus 3. This means we will take away 3 from our original 9. And our answer will be how many is left. Similarly, from set. When we say A minus B, we take away the element of B which are in A. Then, our answer will be whatever is left in A. That's mean... The set difference of A and B will be the set containing the elements of A which are not in B. From the activity, we set C which we get from eliminating mathematician with hair length below the ear from set A is actually the set A minus B. Then, we get whatever is left in A, that is Galileo Galilei. Thus, we have A minus B is equal to C, where C is Galileo Galilei. Set Difference When we represent A minus B in Venn diagram, we started with this. A subtraction is not commutative for real number. This operation is also not commutative in sets. Therefore, 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. 3 minus 9 is equal to negative 6. This 2 is not equal. It means 9 minus 3 is not equal to 3 minus 9. It also equivalent to A minus B is not equal to B minus A. B minus A. So we're going to remove all the element in A, then the remaining element in B should be the answer. So the remaining element in B is Pascal and Newton. You have noticed that B minus A is equal to Pascal and Newton, while A minus B is equal to Galileo Galilei. This means that A minus B is not equal to B minus A. When we represent B minus A in Venn diagram, we start with this. From the universal set, remove all the mathematician with Baird and name the new set as set E. So, the set of E is an element of Pascal, Newton, and Coach. Complement 
we can represent the previous equations as u minus a. Now, for the last set, set E, where E and we subtracted mathematician with Baird from the universal set, we can represent this as the equation as union minus the set A. Since this deal with subtraction from the universal set, we have a special term for it. We call u minus a, it means the complement of a, denoted as this symbol. If we say complement, this is the thing that complete. So, when we say we have to get the complement of a set, we find what that set needs to become the universal set. Universal set, that mean it is being complete. Let us have an example. The union of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Set A, we have the element 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. We're going to find the complement of A. So let us encircle all the element in set A, which is in the universal set. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Then, the remaining element in the union is we have the complement of A. So the answer of the given example, complement of A is equal to the element of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So let us try if the given example we have is the use of Venn diagram. So our universal set is uh, the element is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. While in set A, we have element 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. While in set B, we have 1, 7, and 5. Let us find the complement of A. If we say complement of A, we're going to remove all element in the universal set, which is element in set A. That means the complement of A is equal to the element 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Same given, let us find the complement of B. If we say complement of B, we're going to remove all the element in set B. Then, the final answer, if we have complement of B, is equal to the element 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, and 10. Let us have another type of Venn diagram. So we have here the union of A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then the set of M is A, B, E, and G. Then set in N, we have D, E, G. While in set P, we have C. We're going to find M minus N. Here, we're going to find the difference. So, we have M minus N. So, the element in M, we have A, B, E, and G. Then, we're going to remove all the set in N. So, we have, so the final answer, M minus N, is whatever is left in the element of M. So, we have A and B. Another, we have to find the difference of N minus M. So we have N is E, D, and G. Then we're going to get the difference. It means we're going to remove all the element in the set M. So we have the answer is D. So let us have another M minus P. So we have M is equal to the element is A, B, E, and G. Then our P is C. So we're going to have the difference of M and P. So you have noticed that the 
P is not intersecting in the element M, right? This means that the final answer we have is A, B, E, and G. Let us try to answer the given activity below. The union of our universal set is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then we're going to find the complement of M. So let us have to find the complement of M in the given Venn diagram. So let us remove all the elements in M. Then all the remaining in the universal set will be the complement of M. Therefore, we have C, D, and F. Same given, we're going to find complement of P. So we're going to remove all the element in P. Then the remaining element in the universal set will be the complement of P. So the answer is A, B, D, E, F, and G. Let us have a more challenging activity. So we're going to find the complement of the union M and N. So let us have the complement of M union N. So we're going to remove all the element in M and N. Then the remaining element in the universal set will be the complement of M union N. So we have the answer C and F. Next, we're going to find M intersecting the complement of N. So we have the set of M. We have A, B, E, and G. Then we're going to remove all the element in N. So we have the M intersecting the complement of N is equal to A and B. Thank you. Enjoy watching while learning. This is your teacher, Miss Marimar F. Figalan.